Hi, this is Arena, and here we are in my beautiful beach of my backyard, kind of, in Squim, Washington. I'm here just to give you a little, uh, like, three or four minute talk about uh, this work that I'm doing called Rhythm Landscapes. And you know, I, I'm a drummer, I love drumming, but this is allowing people who aren't drummers at all to find rhythm in their body and then see how it affects your your waking consciousness. Um, I see it as an opportunity to become mindful in a different way, um, to use rhythm both to define where we are in time and space, but also to soothe it, uh, soothe us with the information it has to give us. So simply, it looks like this. I start saying some syllables, you repeat them with me. I start indicating to you how you can step into this process and you join me. Then I'll show you with either a shaker or a clicker or both, how we can sing together. And then I'll leave a space open for you to sing back. And we'll do that for a little bit. And then we'll stop. And I'm gonna ask you to reflect on, you know, wh what you learned, what, wh what showed up for you. You know, oh, the eagle just flew off. <laughs> it's pretty cool. There he goes. Can I show you? There he is. He's coming over. Oh, my Lord. Hello, eagle. Oh, my God. That's where I live. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know if you got that. Anyway, eagles aside. Um, yeah, I have a sunburst coming out my cheek. So by staying in rhythm more than 15 minutes, we start to entrain the body in another way of understanding. You know, I have no scientific proof of this. This may sound as woo-woo as underwater basket weaving, but I know from myself and my own personal experience that it is very deeply soothing and allows me to go into a kind of a uh, a, a kind of awareness where I see more than the moment. I can start looking at the view of something in a bigger way. And then, of course, when you come out and you're in the outer world, it's really kind of cool to know that if something's bugging you, you could look at it another way. You could find some way to deal with it through just being with it that uncomfortable space, just like when you're in rhythm and move your place. And then you can come back to it, come back to the world. Hope you like this video. Um, my eagle is in the tree. I don't know if I can get him. I don't, no, that's behind me. Come on. He's in the tree. Over. There, can you see him? Oh. Oh. I hear you. Okay, that's all for now in Squim, Washington.